excited about our team and uh, you know what we're building. Um, I thought it was a good week for our group offensively last week. I thought we had better guard play, better decision making, uh, especially in the second half of both games that led to the win. We were tied at halftime, and I thought uh, we played really good basketball after the break. Um, you know, the 23 points we got from Glover, Hines, and Washburn in our last game, to me, it was just a uh, kind of foreshadowing of where we're going and what we have. And uh, I was really excited about that, very excited for those three guys to have success, but to also be part of that freshman class um, and to be building. Um, we have to continue to develop our defense and get tougher, continue to rebound the ball better. Uh, offensively, we got to try to put the ball in the hoop. Um, when we do that and we can get to 70 points, uh, we've had a lot of success. So uh, you got to try to keep scoring the ball. Any questions, I'll take them. I think we're a little more confident or healthy. Uh, that helps. Um, and uh, we're more experienced. So uh, we've grown a lot since that last game. We've learned a lot since that last game. Uh, Dircha and Brown, to me, are playing at the level that they need to play at. And then everybody else kind of falls in line. Uh, they have to play well for us to win. And uh, I feel they're both playing good winning basketball. Well, they're playing great. Uh, I think that's they have as good a team as, as we'll play. Uh, they get a lot from a lot of guys. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, a game could have gone either way, and, and maybe they're you know maybe the best player in the league you know was sick and didn't didn't feel well. So um, you know they're right there. They're right there. I, I I think the role players are playing well. Tavenary is always a concern uh, with his ability to score the ball and change a game. Uh, defensively, he's a steal guy. He gets them out in transition. To me, he's always the focus of our defense. And then with the improvement of Hawes and Emery and Davies, Davies gave him good minutes Saturday, real good minutes. Uh, so they've got a lot, a lot from a lot of guys. Absolutely. I mean, you look at, you know, Jason Washburn's year um, to be, you know, for the year uh, in the league, it's not quite as good, but for the year to shoot 84 from the line and 57 from the field and be able to rebound and block shots. I mean, he's he's a guy on the stat sheet, uh, the stats you got to look at and say, boy, we got to worry about him for his efficiency in his minutes played, which is high. Uh, so I'm just thankful he can play in this game. I felt for his development to have a chance to play in that game down there would have been awesome for him. That was the most disappointing thing for me that you miss that game in your development. And um, I'm looking forward to him playing Wednesday. Be good for him. You always have to defend a three. Uh, they make over eight a game in the league. You have to defend them in transition. Um, they get threes in transition and layups. And they're great at it. And uh, last time they had 28 points in transition against us. You cannot give them 28 points. Uh, in transition and expect to win. We got it to four, but you know it's just a big hole to overcome. So their running game is as good as anybody's, and their ability to shoot the ball. So we got to try to slow them down. Some of their, uh, a lot of their transition in that game was from our turnovers, turnovers for touchdowns. Uh, Obviously, we can't turn the ball over. Our shot selection hurt us down there. They got runouts from that, too. So, again, uh, for this team, our team, uh, a lot of our defensive um, success has got to happen with good offense, sharp offense, smart offense. Because if you keep putting people in transition situations from bad offense, it's hard to play against good teams.
Well, it's like our season, Kent. Um, Jay Watkins, we're not sure where he's at. So Kim has to play some four. David Foster's talked about him being a little run down. So that's where our season's been all year. We haven't been able to put a consistent lineup or rotation out there all year. And maybe we're back in that situation again, depending on how Watkins recovers and David responds. So I don't, I don't know how to answer that really. I'd like to tell you it's this way and that way, but it's not. It's not. What this group of guys has to do is continue to uh, understand how we win in this program and to make those plays in that system. Um, we're going to defend. We're going to defend the three, and we're going to defend the paint, and you know, we're going to block shots and compete at that defensive end. That's A1. And then at the other end, we're going to share it, move it. We like to run the ball and uh, trust guys at the offensive end. Um, offensively, obviously, we haven't been as good as last year's team. Um, is it a skill level thing? Is it a experience thing? Is it uh, poor play? Whatever it is, we just haven't been. To me, all these opportunities against good teams is to improve both sides of the ball and establish our style of play, not only for this year, but for the future. That's what we're building. I mean, when you look out there and you have four freshmen out there, that's you want your four freshmen to play our way now, to learn how we win and keep growing. And that's uh, what I'm focused on. But we have to win. That's why we're here. So is it important, Leah? Yes.